Recently, if you walked into the foyer at the Stafford Elementary School, you would have been greeted by something a bit different, a fine arts gallery fair. We always recognize students, and if you'll walk through our campus, you may even see um, bulletin boards outside that have student work and the academic work that children are doing. And uh, we always, we know that we're here to make sure that children learn and learn well academically. But there are two sides of people. You know, there are people who are athletic, there are people who are certainly academians, but there are also people who are very creative, right brain people. And um, I wanted to make sure that we looked at the giftedness of students who are gifted in fine arts. So the theme of the art portion of the fine art gallery is a night at the diner with mystery guests. And so each grade level learned about a different artist and they were able to express the main idea of the artist through their artwork. Second grade drew a self-portrait and they put something that they liked in front of their face because their artist that they learned about was Rene Marguerite. Third and fourth grade, their subject for their artwork was based on a food. So fourth grade did desserts and third grade did a hamburger meal. Also represented on this video monitor were the livelier arts. All right, so you're, you're seeing clips from, from the choir and also from the music class. If you see any rhythms happening, they're, they're doing a step routine and then the more sporadic rhythms that they see, that, that they'll see, they're, they're actually doing as an answer to a multiple choice question. So the A, B, C, and D are replaced with a different rhythmic value. And so they're moving for most of the time so that they can answer questions. On, on the TEKS it says that they need to be able to read standard notation. And so that's the music notation they're reading. It's just every kind of beat subdivision is represented by a different movement for them. In art, I think in some ways, art has to do with a lot of critical thinking. Some people may not feel that way, but it's another way for students to voice or write how they feel, and as opposed to just writing it out, written expression. They can also show you what they're thinking in, in a different kind of way. It may not necessarily be in writing, but it can also be in art, illustrating, drawing, giving you more details. A child that you know is struggling in reading and writing can definitely show you a different side of their thinking if they're using art in that way. I have many students who are struggling with reading and when they are enabled to draw what they are reading, it helps with their comprehension and it makes them more excited about reading so that we can get their reading levels up. So always when I try to find fun ways to incorporate reading, which to some kids is just not fun, and when we incorporate it with drawing and coloring, that makes it fun and it encourages them to read more. Even though all students don't enjoy art particularly, you can always find something that you like about art. Maybe the reason why the artist decided to do it, maybe color, maybe patterns. So everything, everybody can enjoy a piece of art for certain reasons. So that's why I believe using art, understanding detail, being neat when you do something, all of that applies to real world strategies. And I know that our district is looking um, to recognize and identify those students for our gifted and talented program who show those strengths in fine arts. And so I thought this is a wonderful way to begin that whole conversation with teachers as well as certainly with our fine arts um, instructors to begin looking at those students who excel in that area. And I think that that'll be the way that we begin to tap into their creativity and help them to navigate it so that at some point if we wanted to identify their giftedness in those areas, then there it is. For Spartan Spotlight, this is Randall Williams.